learners, today I'm going to show you how to take a basic chord progression and turn it into a ragtime chord progression. Perfect finger picking patterns for ragtime, then how to embellish those, how to add a little scale run at the end to make a very cool ragtime song from start to finish that you can do on your own in different keys to write your own ragtime music. New ukulele every Wednesday and Saturday. Printable tabs for all our lessons by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes. This specific lesson pinned in the first comment of the comment section. Additional links in the description. My email for one-on-one -on -one lessons. Grab the ukulele. Brain and attention span. When you got those three things, follow me on in. Let's get ragtimey. All right, let's play some ragtime. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about how to make a chord progression sound more like ragtime. If you're in the key of F and you're playing a chord progression that goes F, your one chord, a minor, your three, D minor, your six, G minor, your two, and C, your five. We're also gonna see a B flat in there. So those are the chords we're gonna see. Review that one more time. F, A minor, D minor, G minor, C, and B flat. And maybe a progression might be something like, let's go down, up, down, up. We're going to do that over F, A minor, D minor. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Then the next time through, we're going to change, well, we'll play G minor, C, down up 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 then this measure we're going to do two beats on f down up down up two on b flat down up down up and then four on c down up down down up down up down up so that's our chord progression let's play through the whole thing all right and this is our bass that we're going to modify one two three four down up down up three and four one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two 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 three and four one and two three and four and so that's the foundation of what we're gonna do. <clears throat> now, in the key of F, you can change the C to C7, which is gonna sound instantly more ragtimey. But the other thing we can do to give more of a ragtime feel is make all of our minor chords seven chords. So A minor becomes A7, D minor becomes D7. If you can't do bar chords, you'll play two, zero, two, zero. Hawaiian D7. If you're comfortable playing bar, bar the second fret. You can hear my Michigan accent when I say bar. Bar, gradge. Bar the second fret, middle finger, third fret, D7, only if you're comfortable. And G minor, G7, inverted G, right? And then we're also gonna make that C a C7. So if we strum through the progression now, it sounds like this. One and two, three and four, and one and two, three and four, and three and four, one and two, three and four, and one and two, three and four, and one and two, three and four, and one and two, three and four, one and two, and three and four, and F. And you could use that as the foundation for your ragtime. So essentially, make everything except for your one chord a seven. All your minor chords become seven chords. It'll instantly feel more ragtimey. Now let's talk about finger picking through this. What you're gonna do is you're going to use your thumb to play the G string and middle finger high A at the same time. After that, your index finger plucks the E string. One and one and, and your thumb plays the C string, two. One and two. And then your index finger plays the E string again. One and two and. 
one and two and three and four and. So that's what it sounds like just over the F chord. Okay, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. If we do that throughout this entire progression, we get something that's really starting to feel like a good old ragtime. Sounds like this. Same pattern for every single chord. All right, now let's look at how to make some of these just a little different. Over the F, we're gonna put our pinky on the fourth fret of this E string for the first two beats. So you're gonna go one and two and. Pluck the two outside strings, index on that fourth fret, thumb and index again. One and two and. One and two and three. One and two and three and one and two and three and four. After that, pluck here. And this time, after that, instead of going through the pattern we've done, you're going to get your pinky on the third fret of the A string. And that's on the and after the third beat. So you get one and two and three and. Then your thumb, fourth beat G string. So our new first measure is and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and. A7 is going to look totally different. When we get to the A7, we're going to play, make the A7, skip the G string. We're going to play C string with our thumb, index on the E, middle on the A, then third fret this time with your ring finger on the E string. One and two and. One and two and. One and two and. Okay. You're gonna wait and then on the fourth beat, second fret, then you're gonna make your D7 down here and pluck thumb and E string together on your way to the D. So the C, the A7 now is one and two and three, four and one. If we put those two measures together, we get one and two and three and four, one and two and three, four and one. Okay, now we're on this D. No, my middle finger is not down. I'm Barring the fret two, 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 two. Again, if you can't do bar chords, just do this pattern with the Hawaiian D7, that's fine. But what we're gonna do is pluck our thumb and our E string together, and then E string. One and down here, pluck the C and the high A together, two, and then E string again. So it's one and two and. One and two and three and four and then middle finger here, same thing. Just for the first half. Then pinky fifth fret if you can and then repeat again. So these two measures would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. These four together. So cool. Next four for the G7. We're gonna go back to our outside G and A string index on the A index on the E, one and two and. 
do that for the first two beats one and two and then we're going to lift our middle finger up and put it down three and four so it's similar to the first measure it's one and two and three and four Okay, from there, C. You're going to thumb on the C string, third fret here, middle on the high A, pluck those two, open E, one and, down to the second fret, two and, first fret, three and, lift that up, four and. One and two and three and four and F. So I'm down in the F, then F7. You do F7 two ways. Just your ring finger, third fret of the C string. But if you can get your pinky here on the third fret of the high A, it's even nicer. Two, three, one, three. So one. Two, B flat, three, then a B flat diminished seven. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. These two fingers on the first fret, these two fingers on the second fret, pinky nothing to do with it. One, two, three, four. Strum through a C7. And you're gonna go one and two, three, four, one. So C7 is just down, up, down, two, four, down. One and two, three, four, F. So these four from the top would be. You could, if you know the F major scale, put a little run in there, but I'm not going to do that yet because I more, this is more about rhythm, good finger picking patterns for ragtime, good chords for ragtime, and how to add color to those chords. So let's try to play this whole thing from the top. One, two, three, four. Now let's add that scale run. Three, we're gonna go one and two, three and four and one. Third fret, open, third fret, open, then make an F and strum two, zero, one, but don't strum that high. Three, oh, three, oh, F. Now let's try it with that scale run. One, two, three, four. faster. One, two, three, four. And 
And there you go, folks. That is from a basic chord progression to a bona fide ragtime tune. And there you go, folks. That is how we get ragtime here on our ukulele. Thank you so much for learning with us. I hope you get. And there you go, folks. That is from chord progression to ragtime on the ukulele. I hope you had as much fun learning it as I did creating it and playing it. It really is a lot of fun. And it is a cool way to make something sound unique and different. Use it for your songwriting. Use it to take songs you've already learned. Make them new, fresh, exciting, and interesting. Plus a ton of other things you can do with it, all right? So until next time, have a lovely day. Keep on rocking. Keep on rolling. Life is good. And enjoy this ragtime, friends. Rock and roll. Have a lovely day.